Edema is the abnormal accumulation of interstitial fluid. Since the blood hydrostatic pressure pushes fluid from the capillary into the tissue, then an abnormally high hydrostatic pressure in the capillaries could result in an accumulation of interstitial fluid. This could be caused by a higher than normal blood volume, congestive heart failure, or a problem in the vein, such as a blockage or a problem with one of the venous valves. Fluid is returned to capillaries when the blood colloid osmotic pressure draws water to the blood where the colloid concentration is the greatest. The relative difference of colloid concentration across the endothelial cells can change and affect this pressure. For example, during inflammation, capillaries become more permeable and proteins may pass from the blood into the tissue. As a result, there are more colloids in the tissue. This may be aggravated if tissue damage occurred during injury, and so there may be dead cells and cell products or bacterial products in addition. As a result, there are more colloids in the tissue and thus less colloid pressure pushing fluid into the blood capillaries. Another cause would be a decreased production of blood proteins because of malnutrition, liver disease, or a number of other problems so that the colloids in the blood are in lower concentration and thus there would be a lower colloid pressure returning fluid to the capillary from the tissue. So thus edema can result from both an increased pressure pushing fluid out of capillaries or a decreased osmotic pressure returning fluid to the capillaries from the tissue.